In this video, I'll be on the Norfolk coast photographing fighting seals using the OM1 and the 150 to 400 mm lens. So in this video I'm up on the Norfolk coast and what I've done is come up here to photograph seals. I'm at a well-known location and it's usually very popular but this morning I've got the beach to myself. It's about half past nine in the morning and what I'm going to be using is the Olympus 150 to 400 with the OM1. There's something like about 200 seals here. There's about 80 over there over behind the camera there there's another 90 100 of them there and if you come at the right time of the year when they're actually sort of you're allowed on the beach what will happen is that come november december time when the seals have pups you won't be able to get onto the beach what will happen and rightly so the wards will cordon the beach off so you can't actually get on there if you come there at the moment it's the middle of October and you can get on the beach quite easily. It's still important that you don't actually get too close to them. I'm probably about 200, 250 yards away from that, that lot of seals over there. There's a few down in the sea there a little bit closer but I'm not at a distance where I'm going to disturb them and certainly with this the advantage of the zoom is that I can actually do those ones very very close indeed and also the ones further over. So what I'll do is take some pictures. At the moment the light's not great. It's clouded over and forecast is actually for brightening up later on. So hopefully I should get some good images today. So one big advantage of this this lens is the amazing image stabilizing on it. I haven't got to use a tripod today. I can wander around here quite easily just taking pictures handheld and I can go down to hundredth of a second with this and still get sharp images. I will actually be shooting some video with this today but for that I will actually put it on a tripod. But it looks as if it might actually brighten up a bit so hopefully I should get some good pictures. These short video clips were taken on the OM1 set at 4K 60 frames a second. They were then slowed down to 50% of the speed in post production. So now I'm going to show some of the stills taken that morning. In the final part of the video, I'll finish up showing a few images taken on a previous occasion when the pups were on the beach. For large subjects like seals, normal autofocus will work perfectly. I did try using animals in the subject detection menu and it worked well, but I found I could just use continual autofocus with a small cluster of focusing points working equally as well. Whereas subject detection makes a lot of difference on smaller subjects such as birds and small mammals, it's not essential for larger subjects like seals. Virtually all the pictures I took were pin sharp, so after downloading onto my computer 
it was just a case of selecting and keeping which images showed the best fighting or interaction. I also kept a few of the portrait type shots as well as images that showed the density of the seal comedy. These type of shots are always useful in talks that I give to camera clubs and wildlife groups. Having been to this location a few times before, I have found that October is quite a good time to get action shots where the seal are being more aggressive. They can be seen fighting on the beach as well as in the surf. The best shots are where you get two seals having a go at each other with crashing waves in the background. The advantage of the zoom is that I could photograph the seals that were closer into the shoreline as well as seals that were fighting further out amongst the waves. I found out that the week after I'd been, the wardens had actually taken the beach off where the main colony of the seals are. This is essential because once the pups are born, it's a big draw for crowds of people who come to view them. Whereas most people are sensible about keeping their distance, you will always get some idiots who try to get too close and cause disturbance. From a photographic point of view, this means that you can only view and photograph the seals from up in the sand dunes. Here you are considerably further away, so the longest lens that you have is what is required. The following images were taken about three years ago, shortly before lockdown came into force. They were all taken from up in the sand dune area. At that time my main camera was the Olympus EM1X and all these pictures were taken using the camera with the 300mm f4 lens combined with the MC20 2x converter. This was giving me a focal length of 600mm and with this I could get frame filling shots even from far away in the sand dunes. Although it's possible to handhold the Olympus 300 using the 2x converter, I did have the camera and lens on a tripod for these shots. These images were taken quite late on in the afternoon and the low setting sun gave beautiful warm lighting. The pups are always good to photograph and some of the shots show the interaction between the adult and the pup. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Please check out some of my other YouTube videos and subscribe to my channel to be notified of future uploads. Thanks for watching.